If you've ever tried finding tips on how to have more willpower, you may have heard the term ego depletion before. This refers to the idea that you only have a limited amount of willpower. So, each time you use it, e.g. when resisting junk food or choosing not to procrastinate, you're draining some of it away. Hence why people turn into couch potatoes after a long day's work. Now, as evidence, in one groundbreaking study, participants had to either resist eating radishes, which presumably no one had problems with, or resist eating chocolate, a much more draining task. Afterwards, both groups were given an unsolvable problem. Those who had their willpowers depleted by resisting chocolate gave up twice as fast as those who simply had to resist radishes. This paper went on to become one of the most established studies in psychology. Therefore, if ego depletion is a thing, then the trick is not to load on too many goals at once. Otherwise, if you're trying to eat healthy, stop smoking, and be more social all at once, you'll quickly run out of willpower and end up home alone with a smoke in one hand and popcorn in the other. Okay, so far everything seems good. Yet, alarmingly, the research behind this simple effect is amazingly complex. The biggest question is, does this effect actually exist? Or are all these self-help advice wrong? As you'll see, when it comes to scientific journalism, a lot of the mainstream articles only brush the surface of what's going on. To start off, let's examine this meta-analysis. It has over 198 independent tests of ego depletion and includes over 10,000 participants, so it seems pretty trustworthy. What did it reveal? Well, almost all the studies found evidence for ego depletion, and overall, this phenomenon has a moderate effect on us. So, what's the problem? Unfortunately, there could be publication bias at play. Perhaps there are more studies which fail to show the effects of ego depletion, but they just haven't been published. In fact, recently, we're seeing more and more studies that show null findings. For example, these two studies, both of which included about 200 participants, tried following the classic design for ego depletion, deplete the participant's willpower, and then measure their performance on an effortful task afterwards. Now, you'd expect there to be worse performance on the later task, yet both studies found no evidence for ego depletion. Furthermore, more meta-analysis have since come out which try to factor out the publication bias from the final analysis. Regardless of which statistical method used, all of them suggest that we've been overestimating the strength of ego depletion. Some conclude ego depletion isn't even real. So, to think that publication bias could inflate a result that much is alarming. Now, there's another layer of complexity on top of all this. There's recently been evidence that your beliefs about willpower actually influence the effect of ego depletion. For example, if you believe that willpower is limited, perhaps you use that as an excuse and slack off after you finish a task. But if you believe that willpower is unlimited, perhaps you'll just keep powering on. In one study, participants were given a biased questionnaire. Some read statements like, working on a strenuous task can make you feel tired, while others read statements like, working on a strenuous task can make you feel energized for further challenges. Surprisingly, if you read about limited willpower, you'd become ego depleted on the second task. But if you read about unlimited willpower, you wouldn't show any signs of ego depletion. So is all this talk about ego depletion actually creating a self-fulfilling prophecy? Furthermore, if you want more long-term evidence of this, this paper measured 150 students over a five-week period. Now, compared to students who believed that willpower was limited, those who believed that willpower was unlimited procrastinated less. They also achieved a higher GPA. Importantly, this effect only happened for students who were under a heavy workload. So, would it be more empowering to tell everyone that our willpower is unlimited? And ultimately, does this mean ego depletion doesn't really exist? For now, it's best not to base any life hacks on ego depletion. But the point is, for a lot of pop science, the actual research behind it isn't really that solid. Therefore, next time you're relying on scientific advice, take a little time to read the literature behind it. You may find that it's completely wrong.